Hi guys, so this is a video on this. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket Control Wheel or Scroller Wheel as you may know it. It's actually on the DJI site currently for about £53. It's currently out of stock as of doing this video, but if you sign up on their website or even look on Amazon or even eBay for that matter, you might pick up a bit of a deal. The question is this, is this wheel wanted? Do you need the wheel in your life for your Osmo Pocket or can you just do without it and just use the screen to try and get precise control of your Osmo Pocket? Let's find out. So the Osmo Pocket is actually quite a nice little accessory. I'll just show you around it. So basically it goes in the same place where you would plug in your iOS lightning connector or your USB-C uh, if you want to connect it to Android. Limitations are quite simple, that if you have the GoPro accessory mount, you will not be able to use this. But saying that, you would actually end up using this if you're not using the accessory mount. So for anything like vlogging or doing some decent videos, you may not need the mount, but you might just like the wheel. I'll just turn this on so you can see this for yourself. So you can basically slide it one or two ways. Precision control for left and right and then switch it for up and down. This button here operates the various modes. So you've got tilt lock, FPV and the follow mode. This one automatically flips around to selfie. Uh, that's my sealant and I'll flip it back. The other thing as well is that you hold this button down completely and the gimbal actually locks into place. So the actual camera stays exactly where it is let go and you've unlocked the camera and the gimbal so just hold it down and it simply just stays so it's it it is a nice to have feature for the wheel let's just center it and if i slide it left and right you do have precision control so you can actually go left or right depending on your field of view or what your needs are uh, you can of course use the screen that was obviously allowed in a firmware update but actually this isn't too bad i do like the fact you can either go fast or slow and having used this outside for a few days i'm actually quite enjoying it here's a few sample shots that i've taken just trying to show some of the features that this wheel could be used for So I'm now using the DJI with the built-in internal mics and just to give you an idea using the scroll wheel I can simply put myself out of shot or slowly put myself back into shot depending on the speed and also what your requirements are and I could do it even faster if I wanted or just do it gradual and just stay in shot it really depends on what you're looking for from the click wheel. But the more I start using this, the, the more I'm actually quite enjoying it. And yes, I know you can use the built-in screen if you want to, but it's actually nice to have the screen visible than needing to use my thumb to go on the screen and trying to go up and down, left or right. My only issue is that I do wish it was a joystick so I didn't need to have the switch to keep going up and down and then going left and right. Other than that, I'm actually quite enjoying it. 
There are multiple reasons for using this. It really depends on your type of style for filming, uh, what you're actually looking at doing, but this will not work with the GoPro mount. You can add the additional wireless controller. So I'll just simply uh, plug that in there. And that's all connected up. And the wireless can be handy if you're looking at using the larger screen on your smartphone as well. Overall, for me personally, I've quite enjoyed using the wheel. I've not had any issues. Yes, it does make the pocket slightly bigger, but then this comes off. You just put it back in its case, the pocket remains safe, or you can actually buy a pouch where you could probably keep the attachment on, but you do run the risk of potentially the gimbal just being moved around a bit. So me personally, until DJI so like launch their proper case that allows you to hold the accessories. Um, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm quite happy taking it on and off. And like I said, it's not the end of the world at all. Um, the question you need to ask yourself is, is it worth the 53 pounds? Um, as I try to say, if you're doing a lot of filming and you want precision control, then it's probably something that you would probably use. I, first, I wasn't entirely sure, but after using it for a few days, I've got to say that I quite enjoy this. Now, I am pleased I've got it. So if you think you will want slow panning out and moving around left, right, up and down, I think it's worth it. My slight criticism, as always, is that I wish it was a joystick so you could literally control the gimbal like you can do on your smartphone. And um, that's my only slight negativity otherwise i'm not overly worried about sliding and then going up and down it it doesn't worry me that much um but it is better than using the screen so i'm more happier using the wheel than i was using the screen so that's my take on it um i'm not paid by dji in any shape or form whatsoever i bought this with my own money and i'm just giving you an honest review if you have any questions about this attachment then please let me know in the comments section below. If you like the video, please give it a like. That's always appreciated and helps me know that I'm actually doing something going in the right direction for you guys as well. As always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next video.